Did you see how everyone suddenly stepped away from the table then? <laughs> Good morning, welcome to Film My Run. So uh, today we're not running, we're just uh, volunteering. Uh, we're at Dorney or Bo Bovney or Bovney? Bovney. Bovney, we're at Bovney Aid Station. Uh, I've got the job of uh, strimming the grass before we put the, uh, the aid station up. So this is what goes into setting up your aid station before you actually arrive to get your food. Lift it up, Elsa. Press it in and lift it. Massive thank you from us as Centurion for giving up your time because we can't put on these events without um, your help and support. So I'm now my Centurion volunteers uh, top. Uh, the aid station is pretty much set up. We're just going to make sandwiches and put, you know, some food out on the tables. But the uh, the gazebo is up, the chairs are out, the tailwind is filled, um, and it is 20 to 12. I don't think we're going to see a runner until about one o'clock. All right, Chris, how's it going? All right. Do you want an aid station or not? Yeah, I need to get some drinks. Okay, right. Hiya. Yeah, you've got about one hill outside of Reading. That's all you're. That's all you're going to get, I'm afraid. Have you got crew anywhere? Yeah, at Henley. Yeah. Okay. You got some muscle? No. Okay. No worries. Let's. No, it's my mate Craig. He's done me before on the Ark, so he's all good. But I mean, crew's not exactly a big feature of this place, is it? No, you you'll be done in 15 hours. Oh, good for you. Right, so that's the first two runners in. And it's 1.30 in the afternoon here. Zoe Murphy is next in. And then call out what she needs. Good, it's really good out there. Good well, day, like temperature's good, everything. Let's hope it doesn't get any hotter than yeah, this. This is perfect. So yeah. This is really good. Anything else? Go well. Have a good one. No, it's good. Well done, Zoe. Well done. So that's Zoe in the lead four hours and four minutes for 30 miles. Feeling okay? Mm -hmm. Good. Oh, you're going home then? Don't be tempted to stop, will you? Well, I was joking. This will probably be where I get lost in my disorientated. In your hometown? Yeah. <laughs> It'd be particularly embarrassing, wouldn't it? So it's quarter past two. We've had uh, quite a few runners in. I'd, I'd say we've had about 30 or 40 runners. Th no, maybe not 30 or 40. 20 or 30? Yeah, about 20. About 20 runners through. What's the collection of runners? A gaggle of runners? A gaggle of runners. Of runners a, a centurion of runners. A centurion of runners. <laughs> Olympic. <laughs> uh, we've put the other gazebo up because it has got very warm now. I fear for some of the runners in this heat. If you ever consider doing a, a centurion race, this is the kind of food you'll get these days. Look, we've even got cheese and marmite sandwiches. Although Zoe has put marmite and cheese, like some kind of what's what what what's um Neanderthal, <laughs> like like some kind of Neanderthal. How are you feeling, Ken? Um, yeah, not too bad. Getting a bit tired. And marmite. Can you remember what number hundred this is for you? How many hundreds have you done now? What's in Germany? Yeah. Well, any 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 hundreds. Any hundreds. I've done eighty-eight. Eighty-eight hundreds. So you're going to go for the hundred hundreds? I don't know. <laughs> uh, 
So this guy here is Ken Fancer, he's a Centurion legend. James, just tell me how many hundred miles you've done all together now. Uh, 35 so far. 35 so far, brilliant, well done. <laughs> Good job. Don't be scared, we'll see. <laughs> Don't be scared. <laughs> how many behind him are you? 34, it's 30. my first one. <laughs> well done, buddy. He's just eating, typical. <laughs> Enjoy yourself, have a great day. Bye, Kerry. Right, I'm now eating the uh, cheese and marmite sandwiches that I made. <laughs> oh, I just made them. Oh, did you just make Sorry, <laughs> Zo Zoe made the last lot. They taste, they taste better. Um, so we've got about 20 runners still to come in. We're winding down now. It's uh, just before quarter past four in the afternoon. Um, we've got quite a lot of helpers. Some of the helpers came from Race for the Aid Station, which is the Aid, aid Station before this. Uh, this is Paul Spooner. Paul Spooner drives the bus of despair. Uh, if you, nobody wants to sit on the bus of despair with Paul. Uh, so yeah, if you DNF from this race, Paul will drive you back to the uh, the finish line. Um, and we're now all picking at the food. So if you're a volunteer at Centurion and the, most of the runners have gone, there sometimes is quite a bit of food left. Uh, and it, you know, it has been known. It has been known that the odd volunteer may have a sandwich or a cookie or two. Did you see how everyone suddenly stepped away from the table then? <laughs> how are you feeling, Daniel? Well, yes, Better now. Massive, yeah. I was, I was ready to DNF at 11. Um, is the heat getting to you, Emma, or are you feeling... Oh, it, it, okay. It, the heat always gets to me. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you the best place to drop, Oxford. Yeah. That's the best place to drop. Just keep moving, yeah, keep moving. Well done. Uh, so Emma is the final person at the aid station, the final runner coming through on the Thames Path 100. So we can pack up now, just about, I think. Well done, everybody. Well done, everyone. Good job. Uh, you can carry some bin bags or um, this stuff here. It's like we were never here. Have you enjoyed your day, you two? Meh. Meh. He was actually. What they want. They save minutes. Elsa was brilliant at the prep of all the food, keeping on top of it, making sure everything was topped up. Yeah, ace team. So at the beginning of every Centurion race, a big van like this arrives and drops off tons of water, loads of food, tables, a gazebo, and then at the end it all gets loaded back into the van to take back to uh, Centurion HQ up in St Albans. And this happens for every aid station. There are 12 aid stations on the Centurion Thames Path 100. It's a massive operation and you, you probably don't realise how much goes into it. I certainly didn't realise. Uh, so it's worth bearing in mind when you're running along the Thames Path, uh, what goes on behind the scenes. So we've had a lovely day uh, here at Dorney. Uh, um, we'll be back, I'm sure we'll be back and do another volunteering session again sometimes. We don't do this enough. We really should get back and do more yes. volunteering because it's, it's a good thing to do. Uh, so from us here at Dorney, thank you very much. Bye-bye. <laughs>